and see. Governor Eddie Calvo says he's shocked and insulted by the FSM's recent requirements for the deportation of criminals back to the FSM. The FSM Consul General's office told the governor that before they could provide a certification of FSM citizenship for these criminals, they would need to see certain documents like the actual agreement that commutes their sentences. The governor believes this is unnecessary red tape. For me, I consider it an insult. Uh, the, the island that is most affected by this immigration, both positive and sometimes the negative sides, such as this criminal element, is Guam. Governor Eddie Calvo is talking about a recent set of requirements issued by the FSM for the commutation of FSM criminals that results in barring them from re-entry into Guam. The FSM Consul General's Office wrote a letter to Governor Eddie Calvo saying they could no longer certify whether or not an individual is an FSM citizen, as that certification request needs to be sent instead to the FSM National Government in Pompeii. The FSM consulate also stated that the FSM national government will need the following information as well. A recent photograph of the individual, fingerprints of the individual, a copy of the records from the facility where the individual is incarcerated, including the relevant court records that resulted in the individual's incarceration. All of the individual's medical records, including a copy of the release authorizing the disclosure of the medical records. An order of pardon or commutation of the individual's sentence. A copy of any agreement between the individual and the government of Guam providing for the individual to depart the jurisdiction of the territory of Guam. Proof that the individual has received the services of both an attorney who is licensed to practice law in Guam and a court-certified language translator to provide language translation from English to the individual's native language. Proof that the individual has voluntarily chosen to accept a pardon or commutation of his or her sentence in exchange for departing the territory of Guam. A copy of the individual's proposed travel itinerary from Guam to the FSM. A copy of the corresponding travel itinerary for the person who will be personally escorting the individual in question to the FSM. They have put in what I can see bureaucratic red tape to either slow down the process or stop it. And uh, I assure you, it ain't going to stop it from my side. Governor Calvo says that he is perplexed by all of this. If there was a fellow Chamorro that was languishing in a foreign prison, and the head of that country uh, or someone in position of power uh, gave them commutation uh, and, and paid for a ticket back to their home country, such as Guam, I would look, I would look that and welcome them back. For whatever mistakes and whatever harm they did in a foreign country, I would try to incorporate that Chamorro back to Guam and see what we could do uh, to turn his life around. The governor says that they asked two representatives of the FSM government whether or not these requirements would apply to all FSM citizens. The governor says they were told that this is only for those criminals who are being sent back to the FSM. We are a welcoming community. We are a welcoming society. Uh, we have so many immigrants that have come here and have contributed to the building of this island. Uh, countless, thousands and thousands uh, of immigrants and from the FSM, whether you're Panapayan or Chokis or Yapis or Koshrayan or from whatever part of FSM, thousands have come here and made a good life for themselves, for their families and for our island. The governor says GovGuam continues to provide MIP health services to FAS citizens. He also points to when Typhoon Dolphin hit Guam and 90 percent of the homeless were FAS citizens. While FEMA uh, stood back and said, I'm sorry we cannot help. It was the people of Guam and the taxpayers of Guam that rallied to the rescue in trying to get them the tents, uh, the necessary not only shelter but food uh, and, and health care, while the federal government shirked in their responsibility. FSM Consul General Robert Rachel tells PNC they certified the first five cases, but the FSM national government then informed him to stop certification because it's the responsibility of FSM immigration, which falls under the Department of Justice of the FSM. Roicho says it's the Department of Justice who issues passports for the FSM, and he says it is also the national government that issued the 10 requirements before they can certify citizenship for an inmate who's being sent back to the FSM.